If you've ever watched the show White Collar, you would know that the main character, Neil Caffrey, lives in this gorgeous mansion somewhere in New York City that he kind of lucks into. You gotta be kidding me. New York City, skyscrapers and everything. Just like I pictured it. Now, this house is the real life Shinasi mansion. And while the address is a little bit different from the address that's in the show, and you know you can't really see the skyscrapers from it because it's located all the way on the upper edge of the Upper West Side on Riverside and 107th, the house is still here and we are gonna check it out. So the mansion is named after Morris Shinasi, who was a tobacco tycoon in the, 90, uh, in the early 1900s. He basically came to America, completely broke, and he started a tobacco business. He was basically rolling, um, he found a new way to roll cigarettes, because before they all had to be rolled by hand but he was able to, he created like a little sort of machine to do it for him. From this he became very wealthy and then when he, at some point he wanted a mansion that was kind of further away from the hustle and bustle from the city and he expected that other individuals would want to do the same thing. So he thought, oh, look, how about I'm gonna be the first guy to do this and then others are gonna join me. So he hired an architect named William Tuthill, who is the same guy who designed Carnegie Hall in New York City, to basically create this. Now, it never ended up happening that all the people would build mansions kind of further away from the hustle and bustle. And the result was basically he ended up creating the sole freestanding house in basically all of Manhattan. So the Shinasi Mansion is literally the only freestanding house um, in the entire borough. Now throughout its history, the house has had many owners. At one point, it was a finishing school for girls. At another point, it was owned by Columbia University. And then at some point in the 20th century, Columbia University sold the house to a professor, I think it was a Columbia Law professor, and it basically stayed in that law professor's family until 2013, and then in 2013 it was sold to a Goldman Sachs exec. And whether he lives here or not, to me isn't clear, it actually, every time I walk by here, it looks kind of empty and I try I, like I look through the windows and I don't see much in there so it's possible he just bought it as an investment property or because he has that Goldman Sachs money and he just wanted the only freestanding house in Manhattan either way I think it was a pretty good purchase So the whole thing is made out of marble and you can see how the windows are kind of closed off with the with the like the metal enclosures and every time I've walked by here the lights have been off. There's some interesting, there's some like stained glass windows which are real cool. If you look up there's really elaborate decor. And another lesser known fact is that this house had a prohibition style tunnel that basically, it was a tunnel that you could escape from the house into 
Hudson River, which is over there. So if they were doing some illegal bootlegging, making some uh, vodka in Uncle Vina's basement, and if the Popo were coming to show up, well, they had a nice little tunnel that they could use to escape. Uh, but unfortunately, it has since been sealed off. Well, that was the Shinasi Mansion. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.